Hello, this is Claire Smith from Flinders University and uh, Gary Jackson, uh, commonly known as Old Man Jacko on the community. And we're here at Barunga in the Northern Territory of Australia and we're doing a series of conversations with um, community people around how meaning is hidden in rock art. Uh, this paper, this presentation complements a paper that was published with uh, the Journal of Anthropological Theory and Method a couple of years ago um, by Ines Domingo Sands, Claire Smith, Gary Jackson and Didak Raman and we'll make sure that you have access to that as well um, and also a video that we made with people from this community about in which they are producing rock art. So um, there's several aspects to this presentation. We're very delighted that people at the Rock Art Centre in Italy, um, in um, Capo de Ponte, I think. We were there a couple of years ago and we had a lovely time and we have been there a few times. So we're delighted that you're interested. These are some paintings on the school walls. Just to give you a sense of the art of the region, we couldn't do the interviews or the talks out at the Rock Art site because we just don't have internet access out there. Otherwise, um, that's what we will do, would have done, um, but we've done it around the community. Today is the 28th of April, 2022. Claire Smith, Gary Jackson, Barunga Community, Northern Territory, Australia. I hope you enjoy our presentations. Hello, I'm Claire Smith. I'm from Flinders University in Adelaide, in South Australia. And I am at Barunga in the Northern Territory, which is an Aboriginal community. And I'm here with two Jungai, two traditional custodians for that country, Neil Brown and mm. Margaret Coleman. Mm. Oh, yeah. um, this is our camp, this is my camp. I've been working here for 33 years, since 1990. I work here every year and I've, been, I've known everyone for a long time. People here speak Creole for first language and they speak English as like second language sometimes. Right. We're going to talk about caves, we're going to talk about permissions and how Aboriginal people control the meaning of rock art, access to meaning by controlling access to sites where you can go and also controlling what you can know about things. You know? mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to try and do it as a conversation format and see how that goes. I hope it works for you guys and for us too. So Nell, you want to say something about this country? Like anything? <laughs> like Bagala land or something? Well, this place, Buranga, it's a Bagala land. It's um, Dua country, and I am the Jungai for all the Bagala people. Mm. And when we have problems, they come and ask me for advice, you know, what to give them advice or what to say, tell them what to do. And there are also people who can always look up to other people, mm. but they the one they are the traditional owner for Beswick and Buranga. So it's living together, there's two, um, like Dua and Yiricha, and me and Margaret, we as a uh, Yiricha people, we w work for them. So there's a system here called moiety in English and the land is Dua land and that's one half and the other half is Yuritcha and Yuritcha people look after Dua land and some other place Yuritcha people got country and Dua people look after that land. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yeah. yeah. Margaret, that's, I didn't get it right? I've, I've told, I've said it right? Yeah. Margaret, you just want to say a little bit, little bit about your mum and Lamjavad, your your grandpa. No, he wasn't your grandpa, was he? Lamjavad. 
So your mum is... Going to go. <laughs> oh, it's, I'm going to go. it's gone blank. Oh, God. <laughs> so, is, are you showing in here, Elizabeth? Is your... Margaret, your face showing? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, so, your country... Margaret's country... Margaret's grand... Margaret's mother is a traditional owner and she's Jungai, the next generation. So it goes, one generation is traditional owner, the next one is... Uh, custodian, then traditional owner, then custodian. Mm. That's how it goes. Mm. And that T.O. go through the daddy. Hey, you get them from traditional owner from daddy, eh? Yeah. So your grandfather was Lamjirod, who was the traditional owner of all this country, Bagala lands. And then um, your, mother be your mother became T.O. too because she went through the father. Yeah. And then, but you're the Jungai, you've got, from the mother's side, you're the Jungai. Yeah. So the land is inherited through the father, but the skin, the kinship system is, is through the mother. Well, you've been getting yeah. skin from your mother, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so mm. we were talking, Nell, we were talking before, and Nell was talking about why Aboriginal people are very careful about who can go anywhere. And should we talk, do you want to, when I've been, was I was talking before, we were talking before about when you go along a cave and you said, oh, sometimes in skeleton along a cave and people might steal them. What do you, what do you think about that? You've been talking before. Like sometimes they might just go into the cave and just dig it, you know, and just spread that. Like in Hololok, they put it in Hololok, Hololok. Bone for old people, that's mm. like work on, you call them. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And, you know, take it away and start to study. So we don't like that. I mean, like, like to us, it's most important thing, you know. We have to keep the thing right and no more than allowed to touch it. Unless they can go to the other cave, you know, see the paintings and don't interfere with um, them lot of things like Logna and, you know, it's so, so important to us. We believe in that, them things. And even our grandfather, grandmother, uncles, they taught us about that sort of thing, not to enter cave with no permission. Even the younger people, they, they, they're not allowed to go inside the cave. Because you never know they might get sick. Or, mm. You know? So, I, I might just say that, repeat what you said, but say, like for full English, for people? Mm. You might? I just say I'm English. So, English. so, what Nell's saying, is that in the caves, in rock art, caves with rock art, or sometimes without rock art, too, mm. there's might be skeletons, and sometimes they put in a log horn, which is a hollow log, big hollow log. And that there's rules for going there, and even young Aboriginal people can't go by themselves. And white people, Munanga, the word for white people is Munanga. Mm. We can't go by ourselves. And I've been working here 33 years, my husband and I, and Gary Jackson and I, and in 33 years, we never been, we're not allowed to go anywhere by ourselves, eh? Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. So, they heard about people in other places where white people came and took the skeletons away. So where have you been? And then they're not happy about that. They don't want that to happen here. Cause, and sometimes they're wrapped up in bark, them skeletons. Yeah, in too. bark, yeah. Them, mm. them log. So, one of the ways yeah. that Aboriginal people could... There, there, there was a no coven box then. They used to do that mm. bark or... Inside the hololog. Hololog, put yeah. it in the hay. So no, there was no coffins or coffin box mm. before? Mm. Box before. Yeah. Mm. So, so, Margaret, you've been savvy all that. You've been told all that story. You savvy him too, eh? Yeah. 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 All yeah. their rules. Little bit. 
to you. Like our grandfather used to tell a story, our uncles, our mothers, mainly our mother, mainly our uncle mm -hmm. and grandpa. Mm -hmm. They told us about that. We to go and enter that cave, you know, with no permission. Even if young people go there and say, So your grandpa was Lam Gerard, yeah. and your uncle was Gordon Bullenborough, that's yeah. what you've been thinking? Mm, yeah. Oh. Dog barking up that way. Maybe the ba barking up. Yeah. People, I'm just eh? bark. Yeah. It's locked in the yard. Mm. So. Kitchen. Person? Standing up? No, no. So, one... One way that Aboriginal people control access to meaning is by act controlling access to sites. Mm. Right, eh? mm. Mm. So you can't go anywhere and you, whenever we go, like at the moment we were doing some work on ochre, on provincing ochre and taking it, trying to see if it's got a special fingerprint that's different to another ochre site. Mm. And Nell and I have been doing that work this week. And we go out together, so mm. sometimes you collect them or two, mm. <laughs> but sometimes, but the important thing is that you're always there to watch, isn't it? Mm. So we don't go out, even after 33 years, we don't go by ourselves, we've always got a Jungai there, and usually a Tio, we can go yeah. out with Ambrose first, um, to make sure that we're not um, sneaking away to look at something that we're not allowed to look at. And also, then when if people in the community ask Nell or Ambrose or Margaret, they they know what we're doing. So that reinforces that traditional power structure. Mm. It protects the researcher because I can say I never go anywhere by myself, and people know that. So if anyone ever says anything about me going somewhere sneaking way, sneaking around without permission. I never been to that. Mm. You know that, and everyone knows that. And one time, when I was a young girl, your mother came to me, and she said, "Some person being said to her might be I've been going sneaking way." Mm. And I did say that. I said, "Could you? You know, I always got a Lily, got them Peter, got them you." And she said, "Oh yeah, yeah, you're right." And then she didn't worry about that anymore. But somebody had worried her. Mm. So that protects the tos. And the and the uh, the traditional owners and the Jungai going together, it protects the researcher. Okay, here we are again on the 28th of April 2022. Nell and Margaret and Claire. Okay. So this time we're going to talk about. Um, in the other one, we talked about access to sites and how having. Um, people go out with Jungai and custodians protects the TOs, protects the um, the Jungai, and protects the researcher from having people talk about them and that like they run around and might look at anything. So that was access to sites. Um, now we're going to talk about, and we're at Barunga again, Barunga community. Um, now I might just show them around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just take that computer show people yeah. a little bit. Okay, I'm going to walk you around a little bit so you can get a sense of where we are and then we'll set it up for the next bit. Oh, the boss one's there. Yeah. So this this is a camp, that this is a hut, old hut, that Jacko and I lease from the community and we have leased this since 2006. And, but we've been here since 1990. And this is the shop over there, Badalo shop and pile of wood for when it gets a little bit more cold and we have a fire at night. Public toilets there. Oval behind, yep. Margaret said point out the oval. And, the, and that one? Oh yeah, that uh, building on the other side. That church building and clinic we got more old things and that old tank and then some new houses you can see these have only been up about less than a year and little shed and my new tent that's my new tent we live in a tent but the, the hut itself 
and some more new houses. The hut itself has a kind of kitchen and inside we've got a little bit of air conditioning. You can sit down sometimes in air conditioning. Okay, so this is Baranga in 2022 and we're at lot 293 so this is our kind of outdoor kitchen and we've got some dogs and stuff okay so you have a physical context for us now i might try and go behind you now if i go behind mm. it might be more easy see you two more easy and then I can sit go this way. This works. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I think we're right now. Um now you be, just before when we were talking after the video cut out, you were talking about how everybody's got their own lands and their own jungai and about ceremony when people come together for that. Mm -hmm. do, do you just want to talk about, explain that again? For like, ceremony? No, like Bullman, you said that Bullman got their own land, they got a Like money. in Bullman, Weymour and... What do you mean? They see. got their own land, they got their own jungai and... Traditional owner, they they listen to them people, them Tio Map can they listen to the Tio Map or Jungai uh, people, mm. and they the people mm. like like they work for the they do an irike there too, same as Branga and Beswick, but we all do the same thing. But in our community, we just don't, uh, we just do our own work, listen to our old people, and in Bullmoon and Wimul and that area, they listen to them. Jungai and there's two and Yirikya there, we all, when it come to ceremony time, that's when we all get together as one, mm. and that's when we have ceremony. And ceremonies yeah. to, why do people have ceremony? Why are we having them? Like, blah, that, um, when people they finish, they go on. When they die. Yeah, when they die. That's when they bring back the shadow, you know, to the homeland, country. And that's when we have ceremony and there's big mobile lady there and men they do their own stuff and women they do their own things. Like cooking. Doing cooking for when they're on top, all the um, young boys, mm. you put all the young boys there too, so they can be taught, you know, what really ceremony means. So you're saying when the men are doing that ceremony, but the ladies, we down, we down the bottom of the... Yeah, we're, we're at the bottom, the, yeah. We're doing the, we're doing the cooking, cooking and looking after. Looking after, you know, mm -hmm. like sending food for them, all the older men the elders and the young boys. So the women provide the food? Yeah. So they've got some control over that because they provide food. If they don't want to provide food then they can't do that work, can they? No. But we got it. And so, but the men are looking after it like when, when you pass away then you've got that shade and your spirit can walk around, eh? Yeah. Then the last thing they come back, you know, to country and look around, you know, and when we hear them dog, you know, they bark like the hound, what do you call it? Like a hound dog? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the howl, howl, howl. Yeah, howl. Yeah, howl. Howl. Like howl. Howl. Yeah. Howl. yeah. That's when we know that spirit is walking around. Mm. 
So one one of the ceremonies that people do is to quieten them those spirits, isn't it? Yeah. So that those spirits don't humbug people. Mm -hmm. Your spirit stays it stays around for a long time though, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. But we know when the dog is howling, that's when those spirits are here. Mm. Okay. So you that's tell them our, our kids not to walk around. You know when when you listen to that kind of dog, it come inside and. Inside the house, and we're running around in here. So that's so. If a morning was here, a white person, they'd hear that dog howling, and they wouldn't understand what it meant because they don't know that meaning because they never been they never learned. Oh right. So now it's oh, it's a little bit sorry, guys. I don't know how to stop that <laughs> going black every now and then. It just we just this is new technology for us today. Mm. Yeah, um, probably I. We'll work out later how to fix that. Um, but the same for when we're talking about paintings, that they can have meaning, but one of the ways of hiding meaning, protecting meaning, is to not tell people what it means, eh? Yeah. Is that what them old people did? Some of them wanted the, the thing, art is very sacred to young people, old people don't tell them. What it really mean? What Maybe about the young people? Yep. They went because they're too young. They don't they're tell. They're too young. Mm. They might go tell them a story everywhere. So they might go and tell anyone because mm, they're too young. That, yeah. What about white people? White people. Yeah, it's okay with white people because they keep it to themselves. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. But there's also a lot of things that people never been tell me because they don't want me to know. Mm -hmm. I think so. Like Gamma and mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. um, so, one time, I think Gamma and Manabu have been talking about that. And, you know, okay. hello, Lucky. I, I, got, I can't. Too small, pack the smoke. No, I'm not allowed by smoke. I'm on that video, like, idiot, Italy, all Italy, Italy people here listening to us. I want someone to buy me smoke. Give me, like, wait till we finish this, I'll mm. get them some taka and drink, but I can't get smokes. Oh. Smoke kill you. Yeah, no, all you smoke. Italy people, don't smoke, smoke kill you. Yeah, yeah that smoke killed my and mum and dad. Any better? Any better? No, you know, better. Uh, all right. Okay, sorry. Uh, taka, all right? Yeah. He wants cigarettes, but I mm. don't. Not allowed to give cigarettes, and my parents did die from emphysema so I'm never going to give a cigarette help people get killed mm -hmm. okay so that other one is meaning is meaning is hidden by not telling people what it means that's the one isn't it mm -hmm. what about when the Muninga first came here like a hundred years ago when the first Muninga come here do you think people told them things that or they kept something secret or they told them some things or what are your memory of that? You got any... You, you mean Captain Cook or...? Yeah, Captain Cook kind of time, kind of like, you know, like 100, before morning, before Jacko and me, mm. long time before us, like there's a guy called Elkin who came here, and Macintosh, and Macintosh did that paper on um, Beswick Creek Cave Revisited, which we can... Um, and he came out here in the 1940s, and he went out with Lumjerod, and Charlie Munger as well to that Beswick, that Doria Goodlock. Mm -hmm. And he recorded all those paintings and then he wrote down what he thought they were. Then he came back again and he went back with the TOs and Dungai and asked them properly. Well, maybe he, uh, I think he actually might have asked them in the pan. And he found out that 90, he was an, an anatomist, I think, did anatomy. Mm -hmm. And something like 90 or 95% of what he thought they were was wrong. So he learned a lot. Hey! Um, sorry, dog problem here. Ah, okay, um, so meaning is, con is controlled through not telling people or through telling people selectively. There isn't a system of open meaning where everyone gets to know everything. Mm. It's not like that here, eh? Mm. Even you've got to get permission for everything you know, and yeah. you just. You but not everyone can know anything. 
So, yeah. and Margaret, that's your. I mean, like it's up to the elder, old people, you know, old men. Mm -hmm. They the one to talk about it, you know. Yeah. What the meaning is and what we need. So they're the ones to say who can know, who what, can know, what you can know. Yeah. Yeah. Where you go? Okay. You going back to the valley? Ma. So our, our hut here is on the edge of the community and everyone, sometimes people say, oh, you want a little fence around it? And I say, no, I don't want a fence. I want to be here so people can come to my house and talk to me. I don't want a fence. So we don't have a fence here. So it's just people drop by when they feel like it. Mm. Okay. We've been talking about that meaning now. That's enough? That meaning? Yeah. That meaning of that? Like they, they hide a meaning for only share, no, share it with some people, not everyone. And there's also gender specific knowledge. So there's some things ladies know that men don't know. And yeah. And some things men know that ladies don't know. Mm. How that work, Mel? Like when men seven so many girls don't want to know. Mm. They don't want to know anything. Mm. And even if girls doing the own ceremony, men don't have to know. And we used to even have even they can go hide and I was scrub and sticky with, you know, what the women doing. They might sticky beak and try and look at what women are doing. Yeah. Men might. Yeah. I women wouldn't look at what men are doing. No. I wouldn't do that. We wouldn't, we wouldn't do that. So we used to have women's ceremonies in this area. We haven't had them for a long, long time now. Yeah, for a long time. Before we had them. Mm. Long time we had them like this week. Mm -hmm. yeah, We've been having big law on one of those weeks before. Yeah. Okay guys, that's the end. This one was really about the mm -hmm. hiding meaning through not through the control of information, through not sharing yeah. what it means. So we're gonna try and say I'm gonna say goodbye. Ciao. Italian word. Ciao. 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 We're cutting it off now. Goodbye, ciao. <laughs> ciao, 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 <laughs> ciao, ciao. I don't know how to cut it off yet. Ah, but, uh, I don't know. I've got a few people. Three little person. Yes. Want to get one of them in there? Peter Manumbaru is a Ngalpon artist living in Jawan country in Northern Australia. Though not living on his own tribal land, as a respected elder, Peter has an important role in caring for the Jawan country and culture. Assisted by his wife Lily, Peter makes didgeridoos and paintings for sale. Namorang aku, najat ngaku, ngalgarang aku, 
na kanya ngaku, na mora ngaku, na baba ngaku, dengan kula yangan pun pun bora, an kula pun bora pun bora kuali pun ada bunga ada, yangan po, jorkon ya pun bora bora ini, an bawa laruk, laruk laruk pun bora ini, yangan po, well, this one ya my grandson, beda mana beda, like I'm the placement plan, I mean work, mine, see? Yeah, like that one which I... Jungai. See? I'm working for me, but I'm look at Mimi, that dream that I'm there, I'm in Purum, that lot there, I'm you, kangaroo, porcupine, all that, I'm in Purum. Well, I'm the boss one. I'm the leader for me. Peter makes paints and glues for materials collected locally. Orchid bulbs, called nalkan, are collected for glue. Bulbs are pounded and mixed with water and ochres to make paints which are used for painting. <laughs> Ochres used for painting are collected locally. Ngalalek, the white cockatoo, flew over from Dotluk in the east and left a trail of ochres. Yellow ochre stones become red from the heat of fire. White paint is made from a clay called bim. Gila, bodoh kamu ni jadi gila macam nak bung, bodoh, ni jadi gila kan mian bim no, gila bim yang mian, gila mana bim yang mian, ni lagi mian. Nenda pala pala beka boning, nging kegelan apa gula? Kan kun ngujilak kun cawan, bodo, kamon, kamon wo, kanu kaya lalum bulga, kanyo ngo, wamut, kanyo kaya lalum bulga kanu ka, wa, watamon ka, wala, ni jala ka batu ni, kan ni jang ngak, ngak mana lil mian, ngak mana lal piungian. Kanija, ngalang wit mian, ngalang ningian kanija. Mas mala, mas mala, mas mala. Tauro. Alkit, ni kau dah jalan baru. Ini banyak orang ngaji dan malam ni, dan bong ni, malam malam. Kalian dah ngaduk kadukan mah.
ไม่ได้ลงมาเลยบ่าบึ้นดาโอเคบึ้นดาโอ้ไอ้นี่น่ะงอกอเรบ่าวางกินนั่นบีบีนี่น่ะเงี้ยละจัดเตดอมอืม
every time. Sometimes water can come down in wash, wash him out, come bending like this. Look, you can wash out, you can wash away, you can wear out. We, are, we look a little bit pending, in all one now. Nobody will look after him. Nobody will look after him. When I see him like that, love my country, love my grandfather country, or my uncle country, my mother country, because we took a Yiddish man, Tetua. I look like that, I've, I renew him, I make a new one. Abakla country here, this place named Totluk, is a cream time Laos. Laos up here, it's the wheat inside like water. If you think about the wheat, you check them outside, outside to all this long rock, you try map that all the Laos go all over the world. You can traveling around, you call a place, you go there. You keep that thing, no matter who him. That's Totluk, the Golem Laos country here. But if Abakla country is Plankta, in Chan Bandai or Lam Joroj. But we got uh, Chungai up here, I got to my relation. But we we're taking over. Take each other room up here and beat up Mother Bell. Yo, you มาเรียนได้วิจัยมาเรียนเราอยู่เนี่ยคอร์เกนนี่กินแกนบกุลปุ่นเนี่ยอยู่โอ้ไม่ได้บอกจะคนนั้นเอาไปกินจะคนโด
him lock like a door. He's like a human being. All repent, like me, Yali, all repent, passion. No matter why you got a Eddie Moore, John Wayal, or you got a, or you can go to Blue Mountain there. The same way you live there, dream time. <laughs> But I don't know if you're in Napolo. Yeah, come on, but come on, join me. You're in Napolo. 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 You're in You're no one good, no one good, no one good, but just nobody else might like you guys. Come on. You are your belego. You can you have a young man, I go on young guy, and if you're born, and if you're my boy, and if you're man, you're dead man. You a belego. Come on, God, could I and Muluka and Bingu and can pull up Palabonian popular beam here? You are a belego. Ah, what? Because him do we are here to look for him. What we can ask him? Let him say no. Let him say yes or no. Well, if he say yes, that's right. That you beat me. Let him say, you the Junga, you can work on it. Well, that's where we can put that penny. So that stone will be look better than stone for him, that river, that road look. Like all this, my beauty, yeah, mine, one, two, three, four, me do like they can do and blame me, they can work. My brother, they want me, I go, they come on me, they tell me, or you go see him. All right, man, they like that, like me, they take me, I look for that night. It's all right. I welcome them. Is that blame me, but I know. As Jungai, Peter and the senior artists care for the country. We call him this place, Ngarish Pamblan. This painting, this painting here, the rainbow and the Muk Muk painting, that been best time before that that man him and Ravum, that kangaroo born, before they even come here and make a camp here. A little bit new that muk muk, but that old painting him was sad. Him might be wrong, might be rain been was mud. This one I like Pamblan that muk muk trimming on this place, and probably waterfall there. They call him I like Pamblan waterfall. Well, my father, my uncle, they to tell me painting while I want to get drawing other one. I got a drawing jam, that same drawing, kangaroo, turtle, and crocodile, and, and rainbow, and pile tonic, and quiet tonic. I got a drawing, and then again, my father, my uncle, I got a problem same way. My grandpa used to teach me how to draw kangaroo and draw craggy and emu, but he told me to painting, but not this one, not cape on the bark, on the bark. We was living there and I saw my grandpa drawing bark painting in sideways. Then he told me, all right, you want to do this? This one you wanna do? And tell me alright, if if I'm wrong, you gotta put the man and but he the drawing for me and and you don't have to paint him. I gotta do painting. My daddy been learning me. My father been learning me. And I've been giving that idea and I can do painting just to see him. 
Vai folha. I'll be having time, I can come. That Lily, that money bearer, that boy there, my son-in-law, and that my uncle there, we can come all together and find him and bring him some kid from that way to from Barunga. Learn him, you know, teach him, go paint. So maybe when I finish, well, they can take it on. That's why I'm worried myself, you know, think about all my children. Well, it's your own country. But I haven't been controlled it. Taliban has been controlling it area. I mean, also all this drawing and everything. And all the cape and uh, everything. Well, Taliban know more than Jawan Ma. Jawan nothing. They don't know nothing. But a little bit. Maybe them all men, all people, one. They savvy. But the old new generation Jawan, they don't know. But Mibala, I found generation young boy. We will learn for painting and anything, that sort of thing. Well, we still remember well, that culture law and everything law. That's all that's true. And that painting story, everything, you know, where we're painting itself, we still know that we remember. We don't see any young, young blokes into ceremony now, or even into painting no. But this one, nothing. But that one young bloke like me, or like all in this, you know, Middle East, they still in Germany, but they still don't know what we keep teaching all the way, you know, learning. From the whole people to all like Middle East young people to training people, proper young bloke, you know, young, I like this, young boy. We still learn him. Or when about 16 or 18, like that, we still take him to Germany. Thank <laughs> you. 